Hi guys, it's me Karen and welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to do uh, hopefully the last part of this page. Uh, part one we did her purple. <laughs> Second video we did her hair and the little candy box. I'm going to do her dress and her background, hopefully. So, <laughs> um, kind of working still on what colors I want to do the dress, but we're going to work through this. I kind of want the ruffles to be done in kind of a cream white color. And I'm sure I have something on my desk that is uh, involved in those colors. There's this one here. That might be a little too yellow. I'm going to have to <laughs> pull out the other set of pencils. Uh, we first started off using um, Copics on our skin. Then we went from Copics to luminance and then we went to um ooh, that's a pretty color <laughs> uh light fast and then yesterday we worked with prisma colors <laughs> today we're gonna throw in some holbein colors because <laughs> holbeins have got some really pretty um kind of a creamy color in the pink tones so we have a shell pink and uh ash rose and I think those will make these little ruffles uh, kind of pretty. Uh, so we're going to work on that. And I'm going to get you down a little closer and angle you so my pencils aren't in the way. I'm sorry. don't need to wobble. We will get working on the ruffle parts. Okay. Like I said, the light one is shell pink and the darker one is ash rose. We're going to go in with the ash rose first. Now, I did use a little bit, or got a little bit of the skin tones on the top of these ruffles, so I'm going to use that to my advantage. I'm going to pull down in the valleys, leaving the hills, except for the sides, <laughs> alone. Oh, I'm going to leave those white. So you just pull it down. Put a little on the side, go in, pull it down. And that kind of gives us our little ruffle there and covers up our skin tone that we colored on top of the uh, ruffle when I was not being terribly careful. Or I did it on purpose, <laughs> subconsciously. <laughs> Okay, so we have that down and that gives us our little bit of a ruffle. Then we're going to take the lighter color and go over that and bring it up on top of the hills like a little part of snow. It's a very light color. There we go side and then if we need to we can pull in oh, that's right the whole fine white is way 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 in the back <laughs> We'll use the um, hold binds of 105. Oh, do you see what I just did? 105. Mm -hmm. So, which that change it and say 501. I'm surprised I get any of these right. I transpose my numbers all the time. We're just going to go on the top of those hills. Try not to get it in our finger, but we did. I'll have to fix that and just put a little snow on the top and the eraser get that out there we go so it just kind of gives it that ruffly look okay that's all i'm after a little touch we're going to be doing some ruffles on her um all this work too but we're going to have to do that with a Pasca. Just 
gonna go around down here a little bit and bring that up a little. Okay, we're gonna do the same thing down here on these ruffles. So we'll get our darker and down in the valleys of these and across up here. So when you come out, go up the line, kind of go up a little bit. This is a really pretty color. And yeah, we'll get a little in here. Okay, second color. Uh-uh. I hope I did that right. Yeah, the shell pink coming up. And then bring in the white just on the top here. And get that dark, just a little darker in here. Okay. Just a light color there, just to lighten that up a little bit. other side same thing and the valley <laughs> and then up that line chill pink right yep <laughs> And then the white. There we go. So we have our little ruffles. And then underneath here, I'm going to bring that red down. So that was the black raspberry, the deco pink, and oh, somewhere around here is the light peach. Honest, it's somewhere around here. There we go. <laughs> okay, so just on these little areas down here, we're going to go in with the black raspberry. Right up there. Now this has a little scalloping on it and we're going to go over that with the white Posca. So I just have to kind of remember it's there. The pink, the deco pink next here. And then we'll go in with the peach up here, back in with the black raspberry, sorry, check a pink, get that blended nicely. Okay, do that on the other side. Deck 
go pink. A little of the peach. Back in with the black raspberry. Back in with the deco pink. Make sure we're all blended. Okay, and if you want, you can bring in the Karen Dash blender and just give that a once over on both sides. Boop, boop, boop. All right. So we've brought down the red from the top to the bottom of the page. The rest of this dress <laughs> we're going to do in the purple. And I think we'll do it in the same color as we did the ribbons and her bow. Um, were there three colors or only two colors I used in that? And this will be interesting. Okay, you guys got to move over there. So I have the um, <laughs> Quinn. Quinn a crone <laughs> purple one one five <laughs> and Heather. I believe those are the two colors I used. So we're gonna go in with the darker of the colors first. There are little hearts in the dress too. Oh, very light little hearts. So we are going to have to remember that they're there also. Like I said, these all these little tiny details we're going to be doing with Posca. So we're going to run that down a little bit. We're going to put some wrinkles in this dress. So uh, not wrinkle wrinkles, but clothing line type wrinkles <laughs> folds I guess Something like that That'll be our deepest color there. So that will be like our valley. And then we'll have to have a up. So that'll be done in white. But we want some of that color to come down. We're going to do it lightly and then go back in with the secondary color, which is our heather. The uh, first color we used was the <laughs> purple, 
that I can't pronounce. That was a uh, luminance pencil. This one is a light fast. Okay, then we're going to bring in a white. Not that white. <laughs> Let's see. I wanted a lighter color. I know we have some whites that aren't. I have a white pink and I have a blue white. What are you? You're gray. Hmm. You're buff titanium. I don't want to use you. Hmm. Thought I had it out here. Yep. Pink white. I'm going to take the pink white and pull those colors down. piece of paper to put under here because we're on the edge. I'm just going to pull it all the way down. Just make sure we have color on that page. Okay. And we'll go back over it. The darker color here, which is the mm -hmm, 115. Thump, 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 thump. Okay. Bring in a little white. Okay, pull some of those lines up. the white down a little bit. softly blend that in. I 
I'm just going to smear it down with my finger. And then there we go. Bottom of the skirt. And somewhere in there are going to be hearts. <laughs> We're going to take it upward. So this is the darker color first. We're also going to do this little belt here. Heather. Darken this side just a little bit. In with the Heather. This doesn't have any other color on it. <laughs> to help blend that there. Blend it in with my finger. And we're going to get a little bit darker purple here. Do I have one out? Um, let's see. I want the edges just to be a little darker. Clunky, 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 clunk. Dark umber, not the color I'm after. Indigo, not the color. <laughs> okay, I was looking for my black raspberry all yesterday and found the black grape all the time and I can't find it. 
there we go black grape so we're going to bring that in and just darken the edges here And since I put white up here, it will be a little lighter when it goes upward. It'll blend really nicely with those colors. So just darker in some areas. It need to be dark. We're going to take it down here too and put like a little shadow under this bow. So it'll stand out a little bit more. And then we'll bring in the heather here. Just to blend it. We can bring in a little light white. Pulling a little wrinkles there too. Folds in the fabric, sorry. <laughs> Now the little pieces down here, we're going to do those in purple too. So we'll get the regular colors first. This is also going to be done in white. So we're going to go right over it and put that in here. Same on both sides. in with the heather. Finger on the blending stick. You can use either one. We'll do that. Sometimes I just hate working on the edge of the paper. 
Darken that up a little bit. Okay, I don't know what that color is. Pick it up, I don't know why. Okay, so that's the bottom of our dress. need to be a little darker and some spots I think need to be a little lighter. And I'll end up playing with that for quite a bit. to be darker down here. <laughs> we'll quit playing, you yeah, know we're not. Just needs to bring that down a little bit more. Sorry. want that color down on the bottom of the page so it doesn't look like I just left it white down there. Sorry, moving everything. I'm just wrapping my finger across the bottom to drag the color across. All right. We have to put back in the hearts. And I need a sharp point for that. I could outline them, but I will outline them after I'm done coloring them in. So I'm going to go in with the uh, darker of the purple. And yeah, you can't really see where they are, so you kind of have to guess. There's going to. Sorry one about here. So I'm going to put a dot there and a dot here. That's not exactly centered, is it? This one's supposed to be centered, I guess. I'll drop it down. Okay. Dot over here <laughs> and a dot up here. Make it a bigger heart. And then I just pull it down. Now it is lifting up some of the color that we put down below. Okay. So there's one. There's one over here. Two dots. And pull it down. One on this side. Wow. 
one in the center. You should really look like it's on the center. And then we'll put one on this side. These are going to be really light, but they're there. Maybe I'll put one over here. A little one. And a little one on this side. So they look like they're a print on the dress. That'll work. Okay, down here we had some, but um, I covered them up a lot, <laughs> and I don't think I'm going to find them again. <laughs> so we're going to skip that part. I'm darken this right here. There we go. Okay, we're going to get out the Posca. I'm going to do a little bit of it down here. I am going to do a background probably in ink, and I only want to do the white that's going to be on the dress because the ink will cover it up, and that won't be good. So like the um, little ruffle that comes down here, we can, well, I don't know if that's going to work. Let's see. Make sure this ink is going to come out, white line. put dots and then a line up. If I try to do it anywhere else it's not going to look like much. But that will resemble lace. Do the same thing going down the skirt here. Oops, just have to go over those dots a little. <laughs> Okay, <clears throat> now this one over on this side. We're kind of loopy. Sugar. And we'll put dots on the ends of those. And that was the pink. 
we'll just pick a pink here. And I should have colored underneath here. And then we put on the lips. Can't get some color in here. There. Oop, forgot that one. There we go. So we're just putting dots down, drawing a line, and then putting dots on the line. I'm going to put some here too. And then, of course, we're going to do it here, too, but I can't get too close to the edge on that because I want it to go up, but that's how that's going to look. We're also going to do it up here on the ruffle. and have it come down. We're going to do it on belt up here. Okay. I don't know if I saw any of that. Did you see me do this part? Because if you didn't, I have to do it on this side. <laughs> I didn't pay any attention. I'm so sorry. So we'll just go down. We'll do one of these. little dots and then come down to a point go up and then put dots coming down on that and do another one There's another one on this side, but I have to wait to do that one. OK. 
Okay. I smeared these, so I have to go back over them. <laughs> and then we came down this one. here I get this one down here on this side so I don't forget it. All right, now we have a bunch of hearts to do on the outside, uh, out here. So we'll do a couple of them in purple, a couple of them in this hair color up here. So let's pick. I'm going to purple on this side. So this is the um, Heather I'm going to go in here with first. Then we'll go in with the 115, darker purple. <laughs> with the heather and just blend it around. And if you like, you can bring a little bit of the um, black grape in there too. And there we go. When I get done with uh, inking the background, I'll make a little lacy effect on it too. We'll do um, this one up here in the purple. do pink. Ba -dum -ba -dum -bum -bum. Where are my colors? It's the chocolate colors. <laughs> okay. Black raspberry. Deco pink. A bit of the peach. I'm going to do this tiny one over here.
and I'll do the same on the other side. Now the um, big ones up here, we just want to outline these. We're not going to color these in up here. So like if we're next to red, we're going to just outline them in a purple. Just going over the gray. If we're next to the purple, we want to go over them with red, so. This one over here is between the red and the purple, but we're going to do it in purple because it's got more red around it. Anybody else? Do that one in red, that one in red, red, red. Um, yeah, okay. The red we can do in two different colors. I guess I could have done that with the, I don't know, I guess the little teeny tiny ones, I think I can go over with a light pink. The big ones, I have to go over with a darker color. Nothing else is gonna cover that gray. Sharpen our pink. We're going to hope to sharpen our pink. I can't even get it in the pencil sharpener today. Okay. Then we're going to go over these guys. Yep. My fault, not the pencil. That'll work nicely on these. Okay, couple on this side. And there's one down here. And I just feel like there should be one over here. And the fun thing about hearts is, you know, <laughs> they're hearts. <laughs> Not too hard to do. This one here has to be colored. I'm going to stick one up here, too. I know the other ones are kind of going upward, and I made that one crooked, so I have to have a crooked one on that side. I know that's the way my brain works. Okay, that one I think I'll do in purple. Let's see if we can do it in the, um, the heather. Yeah, I don't think that'll work. It might. So we'll stick a heather one over here. And one over here. There we go. Oh, 
Okay. So all I have to do is these other hearts down here and get some ink out. So let's do those real quick. Let's see what color I have here. That one. And this little guy. Raspberry or grape. Boop. Okay, and on the big pink ones. That go pink. And the raspberry. And a little peach in there. Okay. Oof. Pencil sharpener's in the way. Sorry. <laughs> Just gonna fix that up a little bit. Time. Okay, we have a little bit of Victorian velvet here, which is going to be a nice um, pink. Uh, well, pinkish color. I've got to load my inking tool here. And when you first get one of these, you want to be able to load it with ink. Rub it in until you don't get those big scratchy lines on there. And I'm just going to put this down lightly in certain areas. It won't react with the color or lay down on your ink. Or the ink won't go on your pencil. <laughs> That's what I'm trying to say. So I'm going to go kind of dark around her uh, face area, then lightly down around her arms, maybe a little darker down here by her dress. And this is why I didn't want to put too much of that ink uh, lace work done, because I'll have to go over it anyway. Okay, so we just want to lay some of this down. Okay. 
just going to lightly bring all that out onto the page. I'm going to dip it into the ink pad, pushing down quite heavy. This is loaded a lot, and we're just going to pounce it around next to her neck, and then just kind of rub it in a little bit. But I want that really deep back there. So just load it, pounce it, pull it out. There we go. And we're going to bring in a little bit of purple, I think, too. I'm going to use the same sponge and just switch ink pads and throw a little purple on here. Just a little dash here and there. Okay, going to go in with a little bit of, I think, some scattered straw here. Let me see. Need to find a ink thingy. <laughs> no, that's green. I don't want green. I want yellow. Let's see. I need to test that. Yeah, that'll work. Just a little brightness in here. It's not really bright. I mean, you know, because it's a dull yellow. <laughs> but it'll brighten up some areas here. And that's what I need. Just a little bit of that. I'll stick some up here. Just gonna kind of go around the edge there. Blend it in and blend it out. Now, I've never used the water technique on this paper before, but it is a mixed media paper, so I'm assuming it would work. I hope I'm putting these lids back on the right, right ones. <laughs> I've done that before. I mm, thought it was that color. It's not. Okay, water. Washcloth. Uh, give me one. <laughs> I'm going to avoid anywhere there's Posca because Posca will also lift off your page. Yeah, this will work nicely. So we're just going to put it in the ink that we just laid down and wipe it up.
and we'll get a nice little splattered effect here. Whoop, that was a little bit big. Now I'm going to go ahead and let her dry. Those uh, little white uh, splatter marks will come up a little bit better. And then I'm going to add in the rest of the um, Posca because she has a little bit of that lace work that comes out on both sides here. Um, I may do a little lace work around the hearts in here. Um, I might throw a little dotting up in this area also. Do. But I do, I know I'd have to finish this and I can't do it while it's wet. So I'll let it dry. Okay, guys, <laughs> I did add a few little uh, dots and stuff up at the top in her bows and down here on these little guys here and a couple of the hearts on the outside. It's not quite dry, but um, dry enough to do that bit when I'm going to. Go ahead and leave a picture at the end when it's all completed dry. I might add a few more little dots here and there, but I, I don't want to do a splatter background on this one. I'm going to leave that one alone because I think I have enough dots moving all over the place. But I um, hope you guys enjoyed watching. Um, sorry I didn't uh, film that. I just took the Posca and put dots in just like I did down at the bottom. Um, then I went over the ones that were down here because the ink got a on a little bit of them and um, there we go so I hope you enjoyed the uh, video and the process <laughs> considering how she started out I think she turned out pretty well <laughs> I hope you guys enjoyed and I will see you in the next video take care everyone bye now